he gave one little slap and then got scared because he just realized his career just may be over. Yeah, probably not the best ride scheme, but you know, your boy did what he could. But anyway, we about to get into this. But first, I got to slap y'all with this intro. Yo, what's good, guys? Your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another uh, reaction video. And yes, yes, apparently Chris Rock finally addresses uh, the altercation between him and Will Smith at the Oscars. That happened exactly uh, over a year ago. So, man, I mean, took a boy long enough. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah. So Chris Rock is finally going to address the incident where the Fresh Prince walked his ass up on stage and decided to leave some Fresh Prince on Chris Rock's face. It's about damn time. We finna get into this. Now, you're wondering, well, what does all this have to do with Tyrone Magnus here? Well, Tyrone Magnus is a YouTuber that I've, I've been following for quite some time. I do enjoy some of his content. And apparently, there is no, I mean, I looked, I searched, there is no straight up clips of the entire segment where Chris Rock addresses Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. And so, Tyrone is the one that has, um, so yes, technically, I did see this already, so this will be a review. Tyrone is the one, that, the only one that I've seen so far that has the entire segment. So, uh, anyway, I can't wait to, uh, you know, get into this with y'all in real time. So without further ado, at the hee hee. Go. Getting smacked by Shook Smith. <laughs> My man said getting smacked by Shook Smith. Bruh. You done combine Shook Knight with Will Smith. <laughs> I mean, not for nothing. It may as well have been Shook Knight that slapped Chris Rock. I mean, not saying Will Smith is 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 of the same stature as a Suge Knight, but I mean, compared to Chris Rock, Will Smith is a significantly bigger dude. But anyway. Everybody knows. Everybody fucking knows. Yes, it happened. I got smacked like a year ago. Fucking last week, I got smacked at the fucking Oscars by this motherfucker. The people I did it hurt. It still hurts. <laughs> Sure. Drums, please. <laughs> he said he got summertime ringing in his ears. You know what's sad, man? Because honestly, summertime is one of my favorite um, all-time Will Smith songs. And um, fortunately, I don't think I, I don't think I can ever go back to listen to that song ever again. I mean, with Will Smith, with where, where where he's with where he is now with everything. I mean. Yeah, I don't think I can listen to his music anymore. I'm not even sure if I can even watch any of his movies anymore, which pains me greatly to say that because I really love Independence Day, the first and original Independence Day. Like That's one of my favorite movies of all time. Such a classic movie. One of the longest movies, too. Even if, like for you know a movie that was uh, released back in the mid-'90s, man. That was like one of the longest movies, really, <clears throat> at the time that to ever have been released. That one, and then, of course, Men in Black, the first Men in Black movie, I really loved. Second one, I thought was all right, and then I don't think I've, I, I've ever seen the uh, third one, and then I know there's a Men in Black spinoff, but we don't we don't talk about that because, uh, you know, some some some, uh, some buffoonery going on with that one. But anyway, let's get back into this. <clears throat> Fucking drums, please! <laughs> He made a reference to the intro. That's why I said, drums, please. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not a victim, baby. You will never see me on Oprah or Gail. Okay. Friend. Okay. And see, and this is why Chris Rock has my respect. The man handled himself, you know what I'm saying, with dignity. You know what I mean? He handled himself with class. He took the slap and was just like, you know, whatever. Now he's using his platform to address the situation. Like he's ready he's ready to talk about it as you can clearly hear. Anyway. Never 
He said, and I love men in black. But yeah, see, I, I, I like his approach to this whole situation. Like, yeah, I'm not going to go on all these talk shows and, you know what I mean, all these podcasts and whatever and, you know, and cry like like, like, like a little biznatch, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, cry a river over it because like, nah, man, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, he, he 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 ain't exaggerating either. He took that shot like a champ. I mean, give my man his due. He took it like a champ. Let's go. True. We are not the same size, okay? <clears throat> we are not. It's got this guy, what's the best movies with his shirt off? You I'm waiting for him to go in. Seems to be off. being nice right now. If, I'm in a if this is Chris Rock being nice, I mean, I hate to hear what he sounds like when he's mean. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm moving in open heart surgery. <clears throat> And by the way, this graphic that Tyrone is using, this is from the actual um, stand-up special that Chris Rock just put out. <clears throat> and, yo, know, I gotta say, man, Chris Rock is one of those uh, celebrities that has done a great job in taking care of himself. I mean, this is a guy, you can tell clearly, does not have any plastic surgery at all. And he doesn't need it, you know what I mean? I mean, he, he looks like he hasn't aged, aged a day. Like, he's still very recognizable. How many... Celebrities can actually say that, you know what I mean? Bro, let's go. Will Smith played Muhammad Ali in a movie. I feel like he you wants to go hard. He played Muhammad Ali. I played Pookie in New Jack City. Pookie, loving cutter. I played a piece of corn in Pootie Tech. Shit, even in animation, this motherfucker's bigger. I'm a zebra, he's a shark. <laughs> Referencing, of course, Madagascar, which, you know, made him a good chunk of a good chunk of coin, you know what I'm saying? And then, of course, Will Smith's movie was uh, Shark's Tale. I believe that's what it's called, Shark's Tale. Anyway. What the fuck, man? But, but, Will Smith practices selective outrage. He does. This is so true. <clears throat> Thank you. Here we go, all right? Outrage, because everybody knows what the fuck happened. Everybody that really knows knows I had nothing to do with that shit. I didn't have any entanglements. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Even I felt that burn. <laughs> and I had nothing to do with this shit. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. I, know. I did not have any entanglement. And for people that don't know, and everybody knows, Wilson and his wife was fucking her son's friend. Okay. My man ripped the band aid right off and was like, and just you know, it's like, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dig right in. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We well, you know what 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 Jada did with one of his son's friends. I mean, and then she's got this what this 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 table talk show, this podcast that she has or whatever, and she actually brought the guy onto her show, for what I heard, allegedly, and. She had both him and Will at the table, and they were just owning Will right there at that point. I mean, she's been owning Will. I mean, let's let's not kid ourselves. But anyway. Okay. Now, I normally would not talk about this shit. Here we go. <laughs> but for some reason, these niggas put that shit on the internet. True. True. They they put their business out there, and like, who does that? I mean, who in their ever-loving right mind would put their business 
out there like that. And y'all still want to stay married to each other? Y'all some weirdos. I'm just saying. I have no idea why two talented people would do something that fucking low down. What the fuck? Because they got nothing better to do with their time, apparently. We all been cheated on. Everybody in here have been cheated on. I've been cheated on. None of us have ever been interviewed by <clears throat> the person that cheated on us on television. Fact. Facts, because that's just some some weird shit. When I got cheated on, I left the cheater, because that's what you do. You leave. You get out of that toxic relationship. It's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. And you want to you, you, you try to change the relationship by saying, oh, we have an open marriage. Nah, dude, you, you, you just let your wife do whatever the hell she wants you let her you know get with whichever dude she feels like getting with that is not you not okay and she does the horizontal mambo with a bunch of other dudes who again ain't you what what the fuck none of us are like hey i was sucking somebody else's dick how did that make you feel i mean she may as well have been that blunt about it I mean, she pretty much said, like, on air, in front of Will, which made him cry like a whole biatch. We all, we, all, we all remember the image, right? Will Smith's red, watery eyes and everything. Him just sitting there like, mm -hmm, yep, yeah, mm -hmm, that happened. You did that. Mm -hmm. Bruh, she may as well ask. Yeah, I was on another dude's Johnson. How does that make you feel? Like, how you think that makes me feel? I mean, you may as well say that and say it exactly like that. <laughs> uh, so we'll see if he goes any harder than this. He is not wrong. The amount of pain he felt that day does not compare to the pain that Will Smith is putting himself through. Really, if you think about it, Will, Will Smith is actually a masochist, dude. He loves, he loves pain, apparently. He loves torturing himself. What kind of human being, again, in their ever-loving rap mind would do such a thing? I'm just saying, it is what it is. Let's 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 call a spade a damn spade. And no, I'm not referring to David Spade. Let's go. Okay. And mm. by the way, he does that shit. Everybody in the world called him a bitch. True. I know I did. I tried to call the motherfucker and give him my condolences. He ain't pick up for me. Everybody <laughs> called that man a bitch. Charlemagne called him a bitch. The Breakfast Club called him a bitch. And the View. People was going on in on for that. And mm. the drink champs called him a fucking bitch. Everybody called him a bitch. They called his wife a president. Everybody called Saying him a bitch. Saying be a whole, real hard, ain't he? Bruh, not just me, but people in my circle also calling him a bitch. I'm just saying. You got something behind that. Everybody. Everybody. And who's he hit? Me. <laughs> exactly. Instead of confronting the person who is the source of all of his pain, he go he goes and lashes out on another bruh. Black on black violence much? I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, like I said, let's call a spade a spade. Black American actor walk, walks up to a black comedian. Assaults said comedian. It is what it is. <laughs> A nigga he know he could be. That is some bitch ass shit. 
Yep. Yep, Chris, you tell him. You tell him. Sound like we're starting to have some real emotion come out. Serving it up to Jada. Let's go. And yo, she she's long overdue for this. Let's go. Facts. Nobody picked on her. All he did was crack a joke because why? Because he's a comedian and that's his job. That's what he gets paid to do. Make jokes. Have fun all it was and if she was sensitive about it and if she had any, any sense which clearly she doesn't she could have easily told will hey look i didn't appreciate that joke so can you you know go talk to him about that you know after the segment you know what i mean when you go up you see him backstage can you have a little chat with him and we wouldn't be here now would we but here we are She said, I mean, a fucking grown ass man should quit his job because her husband didn't get nominated for concussion. And then this nigga gives me a fucking concussion, okay? <laughs> that was a joke. Fuck? So that was a joke that he admits to, to botching. And hey, shout out to my man. You know what I mean? He he acknowledged, damn, I ruined the joke. You know what? Let me, let me try it again. But he didn't fly out and say, you know, let me try it again. No. He. Worked his way back around to it, set it up right, and still got the laugh. You know what I'm saying? That goes to show you the the uh, skill that this man has when it comes to the comedy game. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, this dude is a real pro. Let's go. Man, I love He looks like he's, he's like life, literally getting mad. Life. He messed up the joke. At the Nassau Coliseum. These niggas make brand new funk. I love this nigga. He makes some great movies. I have rooted for Will Smith my whole life. I root for this motherfucker, okay? And let and let us not forget, let me wind this back some. And let us not forget, Chris Rock also appeared on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. He was a guest star on, on an episode in one of the later seasons. I want to say uh the fourth let me see, it ran from what, nineteen ninety? To 1996, so that's what about, yeah, like 1991, somewhere around there to 96, so about six, seven seasons. I think he appeared on an episode in like the fourth or fifth season, I want to say, but uh, anyway. Smith, my whole life, I root for this motherfucker, okay? And now, I got <laughs> emancipation just to see him get what. <laughs> He said he went to go see Emancipation just to see Will Smith get whooped. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I went to Emancipation just to see him get whooped. <laughs> Bruh, you, you, you can smack Carlton around, all right? You can do that all you want. But, man, when you smack Chris Rock, man, you done smack the wrong one, bruh. Let's go. Got me rooting for Massa. Okay? Damn. Hit him again, Massa. Hit him again. <laughs> you missed the spot, Massa. He said he missed the spot. Damn. <laughs> 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 
back to a point I made in regards to parents in the household and this and this all goes and boils down to why it's very important and very crucial to have a father figure in the household you know what I'm saying to help raise children because the father is always the disciplinarian although to be fair in my household both my mother and my father were the disciplinarians you know what I'm saying if your boy don't, don't mess around, you know what I mean? Because, hey, he was curious enough to find out. Best believe, I, I got spankings from both my mom and my dad. You know what I'm saying? And look where I'm at now, man. I'm working. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I didn't go out, go out and freaking act a fool and start being about that, you know, all this, all this gangster nonsense and everything, that street life and all this and that, you know what I mean, wilding out and everything, you know what I'm saying, no, <laughs> no, and this, and this is how, again, this is how you can tell who, who is raising these people, you know what I mean, who is raising the, these these freaking wild nutcases that think that they could just go around and do whatever the hell they want? It's obviously that these people were clearly raised in a single parent household. Those who think they can just do whatever they want to other people, put their hands on other people, you know what I mean? Because oh, they're 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 mad for insert reason here, you know what I mean? Versus those who don't act that way, they behave in a more civilized manner. And why is that? Because those people were raised, obviously, by both their mother and their father. <laughs> That's how you can tell. Another tell is that these dudes who were raised by single mothers never know when to shut the hell up. That's another tell. Just saying. He did handle it in class. He did, he did handle it. Damn right he did. Damn right he did. Like I said, man, this dude, give Chris Rock his due. Whether you like the man or you don't, whether you're a fan of his or not, give him his due. Give him his credit. The man took the shot like a champ, and he handled it, and he handled himself well with dignity, self-respect. Bruh. Bruh. Let's go. Exactly. All the more reason why you shouldn't be doing stupid shit because, and especially on a live televised show, because you never know who's watching. Obviously, you know who was in attendance and who saw that, but I'm pretty sure a good portion of the te television audience were white folks. There, some of them were probably white males. Some of them were probably white females. Bruh. <laughs> okay 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 um you know i heard he wasn't going to talk until he was paid all right so it looks like uh tyrone is just going to give his um his overall thoughts his last bit of commentary so we'll go ahead actually let me check out the rest of this video you you won't see this in real time i'll do a jump cut if there's nothing further so anyway let me check this out real quick all right guys so obviously now that we're at this point yeah again this was just tyrone giving his last bit of commentary and uh shout out to tyrone magnus too for doing this video um i will leave the link for the video in the description down below so if you guys want to go and subscribe to him go check out his content hey by all means feel free to do so um but Anyway, going back to what Chris Rock just said too, you know what I mean about, you know, fighting in front of, not fighting in front of white people. Obviously, there's a black 
racial stereotype out there. You know what I mean? Black people are viewed a certain way because, you know, not all of them, but there are some, you know what I mean, who, you know, get out of line. They get out of pocket. They act a fool. You know what I mean? They they carry themselves in such a negative way and they wonder why people, you know, people who, who are outside of that community look at them different. Well, probably because the way you carry yourself. What Chris Rock did, it was a smart move. I mean, you could be a be a yeah a, a freaking ignorant all you want and say that you know him not doing anything in response, you know, that makes him a whole bitch or whatever. Hey, he may be a bitch in your eyes, but he's a he's the smartest bitch I've ever known in my life because here's the because here's the difference between him and Will Smith. The man is still putting in work, got paid, and what is Will Smith doing right now? Trying to sweet talk his way back by using the freaking woke tactics. Oh yes, there's an article you can look up on Google where Will Smith claimed that during the filming of what is it the um, uh, that that film he was making where he was basically playing the role of a slave. Supposedly during the filming he got spit on by a white man. Supposedly that's what he said. So, you know, and. And, and this goes to show you just how, how out of touch Will Smith is. That woke nonsense, it ain't going to work today. You want to know why? Because, you know, there's a reason why Disney is losing out on a lot of money right now. Look at their, their freaking most recent Marvel films. <laughs> uh, with all that woke propaganda that, that they're pushing in, in those movies. There's a reason why those movies are tanking in the box office, my guy. If you were if you were to do this sometime during maybe 2018, 2021, maybe just maybe you might get somewhere. But now maybe not not, not so much because like I said, people are now ri- are, are wising up rather to the this whole woke nonsense, this whole woke madness or whatever, you know what I mean? And they're we're, we're not we're not tolerating it a- anymore. We're not we're not paying for that for that that BS anymore. So that that's certainly not gonna fly in today's day and age. That woke nonsense, man. It, it's freaking aging like freaking rotten eggs. You know what I'm saying? People are are at a point where they had enough, and the woke community, where were they? I mean, they want supposedly there was a, an audience for all this woke stuff that was coming out, but yet nobody was buying, nobody was invested into it. So what does that tell you about the woke movement? I'm just saying. But anyway, going back to, again, to the whole racial stereotype. Chris Rock, he knew better. He knew, had he acted, you know what I'm saying, that that projects that stereotype, he would be no better than everybody else who behaves in that way. He he acted the way he, he should. He carried himself as he should, a grown mature man you know what i'm saying that knew better that knew well enough man if i acted in such a way if i responded in such a way you know to this man i would be no better than him i'd be out of work just like him i wouldn't be welcome anywhere just like him why am i gonna throw my career away doing something stupid when i could just let this dude throw his career away you know what i mean dig his own grave Two wrongs don't make a right. I'm just saying. Anyways, y'all. So, yeah, man. Hey, kudos to uh, Chris Rock. I'm glad my man finally, you know, spoke up and said his piece and addressed this whole situation. You know what I'm saying? I agree with everything that this man says. And I'm definitely going to give Tyrone here a like. And like I said, man, I'm subscribed. You know what I mean? I got the bell notifications on because I do love his content. You know what I mean? He's one of my favorite YouTubers. You know what I mean? That's That kind of keeps me uh, filled in on what's going on with everything, you know, as far as like, you know, like the movies and stuff. He also reacts to Critical Drinker. I don't know if any of y'all watch the Critical Drinker. He's another funny YouTuber that I've been thinking about reacting to. If you guys want to see some Critical Drinker reactions, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. That's pretty much all I got to say, man. Um, Again, yo, kudos to Chris Rock. I'm glad, you know what I mean? He's finally saying his piece. And, yo, 
Yo, kudos for man laying into Will Smith and kudos for laying into Jada Pinkett too. I think they both deserved, you know, what what they just got. You know what I mean? And I can't wait to see the the, uh, the uh, response from Will Smith and Jada to what Chris Rock said in his special. Man, I'm I'm really curious about that now. I'm probably gonna go check that out once I close this this video. Speaking of which, <clears throat> once again, uh, this is uh, Tyrone Magnus's channel. Uh, link for his video will be in the description down below so you guys are more than welcome and I highly encourage y'all to go check him out Like I said, my man does you know some awesome awesome content. He does some awesome awesome reaction videos if I could talk <laughs> and um, Yeah, man Also, don't forget to check out of course all the other links in the description down below that will all be very much appreciated If you're digging the vibes here, don't forget to like comment and of course subscribe Especially if you're new, you know what I'm saying last time I checked we are up to uh, six uh, 6,054 subscribers, so shout out to everyone that's, that's subscribing, that is showing your boy some love, very much appreciated, and uh, yeah, we're on our way to 7k subs, let's get it, with all that being said, it is your boy Jason JV, so y'all take care, have a blessed one, catch y'all next one, peace. Jason JV on YouTube? Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV? Just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. JC, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Badger. I'm one half of the next video. I'm going to say what's up, JV. Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. You're sad. You're sad. You're sad. You're happy. Don't be too happy. Don't be expecting shit. It's like doing curves all the time. So be ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah.